Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm your host Lorefent and this Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic video guide I'm going to show you all how to get through the mini game called Pazak. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget the notification bell to be updated and much more. This is really important and you want to make sure you do get a deck on Taurus otherwise you probably have to go to the Leviathan and get the other deck so keep that in mind so let's go ahead and talk about what type of cards you definitely want before start actually playing. So you're asking Lord Fenton what kind of type of cards do I need for the side deck plus and minus one so before I actually explain that the object of Pazak is very simple you gotta make sure you uh, have a 20 the number that's the key number if you go over 20 by one or uh, so, yet you lose the uh, round. Lose three times in a round, you lose the game. Now, if your opponent loses three times in a round, you win the game. Simple as that. So, anyways, you want the plus and minus cards. Reason being is so this way you can either close in the victory with a certain number, or if you're in trouble over by a small number that you have one of the cards on, you can minus it. Now, if you uh, don't have enough uh, room like I have for the plus and minus cards, sell for the minus cards. So this way, if you're out in trouble, you could get yourself big time out of trouble. So it's very important. So just remember, plus and minus, your first priority, which is everywhere in the game to buy or look for. Or if you don't uh, have enough plus and minus cards, sell so for the uh, minus one. So let's go ahead and uh, play the mini game, and I'll tell everybody exactly on how it exactly plays out. The object of Pazak is simple. Try to get to uh, 20 without going over, and your opponent doesn't get to uh, 23 times in order to win the game. So if you, uh, for example, have better numbers than your opponent, then you do it three times, you beat them. Same thing having 23 times, which is really lucky. And your opponent doesn't, you win against them. Now you lose uh, three times in a round if you go over or your opponent has a better number and you have a lower number than them up to 20. So keep that in mind. Make sure you aim for 20 or so. We'll talk about tactics in a bit. So let me go uh, lay out the uh, map. So you see where the yellow cards are at the middle? Well, that's your uh, play board, and your object here is to get to uh, 20. The number above it says 10 or so. It tallies up the numbers of cards you have total. So uh, you want to definitely get to 20. If, uh, for instance, you uh, don't, and your opponent has a better number, that opponent wins. See that mark there? That opponent uh, beat me previously and has that mark there. You don't want to make sure they fill theirs up and theirs win. You want to make sure yours is filled up. Now, on the bomb, that's where it's at the player's hand. Uh, that's where your uh, side deck is at. It's random at times, so don't panic. If you feel like you have a bad deck, forfeit, load your save up. Yes, so you really want to save your, some credits. Save before playing an opponent, and boom. So uh, this is why you play without any losses. When you win against them, save your uh, game. So let's go ahead and talk about strategies. Now, in order to uh, lock in your uh, number, you have to hit the stand button. I'm going to say this now. Stand at 18 to 20. 20 automatically forces you to stand, so keep that in mind. So, for instance, I have 17. Yeah, I should probably uh, do is go for 18 and uh, stand out. You could uh, definitely uh, risk it by uh, going uh, above 18, but good uh, rule of thumb is uh, to make sure you stand at 18 uh, to 20. Another tactic here is to make sure your opponent uh, uses their... Uh, hand if they use their uh, sidebar uh, deck hand what happens is they'll be forced to keep on drawing and drawing drawing and then you'll have them right into your trap see i got my opponent in a trap uh, the opponent's afraid to use their card i'm ready to tie in get in for the uh, win so stand at 18 to 20 hopefully the opponent stands at 17 to 18 then lock it in now if you go over don't panic at all that's all right just make sure uh, you have two more uh, tries if your opponent goes over, yeah, that's a greater chance that you'll win the uh, game. I'm going to go ahead and talk about decks briefly before finishing this uh, round up. As far as your opponent has a total of deck numbers, they have either have one, two, or three. The higher deck numbers they have, the better it is in the tier. So, for instance, this guy I'm playing is uh, deck three, which is highest. I get the greatest prize from uh, this opponent. There's other opponents out there who will actually give you items in certain uh, tiers. Mainly in three, sometimes in uh, two. Now, I'm done with that. I just won the game. So, I'm going to tell you why you definitely want to play this mini game. So, uh, Lord Fen, you're asking, why should I play this mini game, Pazak, and uh, waste my time on it? Very simple. At Yarvin Station, aka Yarvin Planet, that's the nice red one, you meet this NPC there the first time. He will offer you some exclusive items. Some of it is the best in the game. They're at real high prices, but in order for him to lower it, Without forced persuasion, of course, you got to beat this uh, guy at Pazak uh, for a total of 10 times. 
and yet you do make a lot of money by playing for a total of 10 times. So you see the light exoskeleton suit, for example, is at 10K credits. Well, I uh, guess, well, I'll show you all what happens when you uh, beat this guy at this uh, game of Hazak. So let's go ahead and show that discount. Now I'm gonna go show you after. So I just beaten uh, this uh, NPC at Yarvin for the 10th and final time. Now because of that, he will admit that you're very good. Now you have to get through his speech. You will not play him no more for cash, just for fun. It's a great way to also make uh, 7.5K credits total. Now your spec sheet, he gives you a special deal on his items. And this deal is 20% off. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the shop where he should sh uh, show us his uh, wares. You are gonna look at the light exoskeleton suit. Now before it was at 10K, now it's at 8K. So as I said before, uh, if you decide to force persuade him, that 20% uh, will now be 25% off and you'll even save more money. So yes, that's why you want to play Pazak 10 times, have the best deck, deck that you have in order to get this very nice discount. So I'm going to go ahead and give some final advice before I end the video guide. First of all, save your game before playing this mini game against opponent each time, especially uh, the Jarvan Merchant for a total of 10 times. If you lose, load so you don't lose the credits. If you win, save big time. As for the uh, side deck, make sure you aim for negative and positive uh, cards together. That is the uh, red and blue ones. If you can't not get any, sell for the uh, negative ones. So you use those just in case you go over so you get to, uh, to under. Now uh, stand at 18 and 19, you automatically stand at 20. Try to make sure your opponent uses his or her uh, side deck cards, all four of them. If they use it real quick, it'll be much more easier for you to win the uh, game. That's important to... Uh, Hear this. Try to uh, force your opponent to go over. Don't panic if you lose uh, one uh, round. You could make it up in the other rounds. Well, everyone, this is it for my Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Pazak mini uh, game video guide. This is Laura Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more guides and builds just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner of the screen or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Have a great day or night and may the force be with you.